we're gonna go oh no the game is showing up hello everybody i'm late let's just get it out of the way i'm 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 late i've been hyper focusing i've been hyper focusing today i've put myself in an in unintentional timeout because i woke up this morning I would just like to say thank you to everybody that came to Dolly Whiskers' stream yesterday. I'm going to shout them out for the sake of it, but everybody, this is one of those games that mutes every time I click outside of the window. So whilst we're out of it, we're just going to do this. We're going to take this opportunity to shout out Dolly Whiskers. If you attended Dolly Whiskers' Chris Christmas birthday stream yesterday, I really do appreciate it. It was such a nice time to gather new people that we've not spoken to on voice before in a public space we played some geo guesser we played some pokidoku that we very quickly discovered was it was well outside of my wheelhouse i think it was well outside of a few other people's wheelhouses as well but then we did quizzes about video games and we got to all flex our in a video game nerd is that the correct term it, it 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 felt good it just felt good it felt good to celebrate dolly as well because they're still on their active hiatus based on their health but i know they love streaming and i know they, they love being part of the community and running it with me and that i know they love like just i know they want to get back to that place where they can do it regularly and it not be such a big thing that it was so thank you, everybody, honestly, for turning up. I know I don't have to say it, but I'm, I'm just going to say it anyway. We're also going to go through chat real quick before I get ahead of myself. Dolly Whiskers, congratulations on the first. Still not Sky Alucard. Still, Sky Alucard is still not on the board. Nevik Link. Dear Nevik, thank you for your renewal. Dear Nevik Link, thank you for renewing your subscription to Big Booty Chickens Monthly. Please consider the attached Arakana Chicken as a complimentary gift. They respond to the bit, the name Hen Solo. I like that one. That's a good one. Phoenix, welcome to chat. Also, thank you, Phoenix, for coming and being on voice yesterday. Phoenix was one of those people. They don't stream, so I don't have to shout them out. But still, Phoenix, thank you very much for, much for being on voice yesterday. I don't think any of us would have got the any of the South America guesses in GeoGuessr if you weren't there, but it was it was a good time. Thank you for knowing your subscription to Big Booty Chickens Monthly. Please consider the attached Shamo Chicken as a complimentary gift. They respond to the name Hemi Houdini. Some of these I like more than others. TLB, I am hydrating, but I'll hydrate again. TLB, thank you for doing your scripture. I'm rushing. Dear TLB, thank you for renewing your subscription to Big Booty Chickens Monthly. Please consider the attached Spanish chicken as a complimentary gift. They respond to the name Eggwood Scissorbeak. Ah, uh, movie references, and then we're done. Okay, we're gonna have. I, I, I need. I've got some talking to do, other than the thank you for turning up for Dolly Whiskers' scream yesterday. I'm gonna talk about endorphin chasing and hyperfocuses. It's less of a hyperfocus in this case, but at the beginning of the year, 2024, Right Big Chimkin decided he was gonna chase endorphins while streaming, and honestly, it's worked out for us so well. The channel is just trucking along. I'm I'm late today, so this probably won't be as long as a stream as I usually do on a Tuesday. But still, schedule fuck ups like that don't happen on a regular basis. It happened today because I was endorphin chasing. Every once in a while, my brain goes, "You really want to play a racing game," and I don't know why it happens, but it seems to happen like clockwork. I'm not sure if it's the summer. I don't know why the summer would make me want to race cars around the digital track. If you own a nice car, do you want to drive it around in the summer? I think you do, right? Where you want to take the roof off and like the doors off and do wheel spins in a McDonald's car park. Something along those lines. But still, I have a very, I have a very, there is a very special place in my heart for the Forza Horizon franchise. I have played four and five extensively. Um, and you can tell there's a weird place in my heart for them because they're a racing game that I've put over 100 hours into. And I don't know what I find satisfying about it because I'm not a gearhead in the in any shape of the word. Am I not a gearhead? 
It's just fun. You can paint the cars. You can do custom livery. I know for a fact there's a chicken suit you can put your driver in, which we're going to see if we can find today. All cards on the table if you're watching me for literal Forza Horizon content. I've reset my save, and a holy shit was that complicated. So we are, we are starting from what is effectively the beginning of the game. I had 111 hours in this before I did that today. No cars. Well, we have one car. Well, we've picked one car. Basically, during the fix of the... I don't need to explain the long technical bits. Resetting your save game in Forza is hard. You get to pick one car at the beginning of the game. And then you have to do one race as part of the deleting your profile process. And then it works so i've done a tiny little bit and i'm kind of sad that you guys don't get to see the opening credits in footage because it really is spectacular um so i'm gonna i'm gonna hop straight in and we're gonna go and do it's not equal to the opening but it's like gives the same sort of energy that some of the weird driving bits in this game does weird driving bits and that that's not very good english but some of the slightly out there driving bits are no, that's not good English either. Basically, we're going to chase a plane that then drops some bikes out of it, and then we're going to race along, and we're going to see who gets first. And then we're going to do some actual proper driving. Well, I say proper. I'm a terrible... I'm, I'm, I'm probably actually extremely bad at this. So, we're going to say the words. Friends and enemies, distinguished guests, people in possession of souls. This is Forza Horizon 5. And I'm super excited to be here. I'm sorry I'm late. Um, we'll just see how it goes. The cat is about to burst in. Bangkok, let's go. Jura, today's stream. Neum. That's it. That's what we're feeling. Hell yeah. Uh, if there are any gearheads in chat, raise your hand, because I'm not. I drive a very small, unobtrusive car, and I hate it half the time. Dear Jura, thank you for renewing your subscription to Big Booty Chickens Monthly. Please consider the attached Scott's Dumpy Chicken. Scott's Dumpy Chicken. That's very Jura, if you think about it. Not the dumpy bit, the Scots bit. That was almost an insult. Answers to the name Wingston. Um, the cat's here, everybody. Can I help you? What are you doing? That's just... What's that about? Um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to go Noom. We're going to go average gameplay level because basically there's this really intrusive... There's this really interesting difficulty mechanic in this game. The game recognizes if you win too many times, then increases the difficulty. So when it stops increasing the difficulty, you've landed on the bit, you've landed on that sweet spot where you're meant to be in terms of your skill at that level. So I've set the game to the default. So we're just going to go average skill and then we're just going to ramp it up slowly as we go along. I better give you a biscuit before you literally wear a hole. I just muted the microphone. There we go. I hit the George button that time. Good thing I noticed that, eh? Okay, we've got biscuits. We're going to start with George. George is our mascot, though I have themed my character after chickens because... Just because. The saddest thing... The saddest... The saddest part of this game. The saddest part of this game. I can't have a big bushy beard. I'm bald, but I can't have a big bushy beard. I just look like a thumb. Hi, Shadows. We're just getting started. How are you, Shadows? Hope you're doing well today. Uh, we press this button. I'm going to miss, sir, sir, for the begin. Just, I do this very rarely so nobody get outraged. George, I need to get down just for the beginning of this stream. Go over there and get down. Get down. All the way down. Go, 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 go. There we go. I very rarely do that, and I feel immediately guilty that I did. I'm going to get Dolly in here with a bucket of water, and she's going to just go, wet t-shirt contest. Go. Uh, that's the one. We flipped a card for you. Thank you for all of the contributions to the community rewards. Today, I'm going to be somewhere new. Am I going to be somewhere new? Come on. You can do it. We're going to be over here. That's not new at all. We're going to get rid of the frog hat. We're going to turn that music off because the game is now going over the top of it. And we're going to turn the bow tie off. If you'd like a new hat, you have to do a fresh redeem. Should we wait till the car is done? 
This is my car I'm driving today. It is a Corvette. And the stupid thing is, I picked this car as the first car in the game because it is a re it has really good off-road mods. Ba, 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 ba. Thank you, Phoenix. Sombrero, which is a little cultural cultural appropriative, considering we're in Mexico. Is it? Okay, we're well, now we're just gonna roll with it. Yeah, it's cool. Bow ties are cool. This from the man in the bow tie. Bangkok, you cool. promise? No, I really don't. We're in Mexico. Cool. Here's one. Bow tie. Get rid. Bow ties are cool. Bangkok was to get the regular viewers in. Bangkok was to get all of those people that saw better than a cop. True. <laughs> I've been lied to. You have been lied to, but now it would be rude to leave. Let's flip that card, though. Everybody, flip that card. There's an eight of hearts. The music's now going to dip out because this is one of those really irritating games where it does that. I mean, it's not hard. Better than a cop. Red. Go. We've done it. Okay. Can we see if we can fix that sound issue before I do anything? Uh, new game. If the sound is out of balance, please let me know. I've tried to keep the music as a main focus so you guys aren't deafened by the car at all times. But if you are, if there is anything that's a problem, please let me. Also, the last time I played this game, it was all set to medium. Look at all those freaking extremes and ultras. Ooh. Um... Power Queen Lucy. Is it not Chile? It isn't. It's Mexico. But isn't Bangkok in Mexico? Bangkok is not in Mexico. If I change this off full screen... I want to know... Oh, wait, no. That's... That's... So... Still... Yeah, that doesn't keep the window focused at all. That... That didn't that that wasn't it. That wasn't the thing. Is there anything here that keeps the audio playing if I don't keep the I hate games that mute the audio when it's in the background. There I said it. I have streamer mode on. Can you prove it? I'm pretty sure I can't. <laughs> Can I get a shout out for Lucy? Can I get a shout out for Lucy if there is a mod in chat able to do shout outs for me right now? If not, I'm going to get a race out of the way and then I'll do it myself. Uh, three stream streak, Lucy. You're making a habit out of this. Okay, so we're going to go. I'm going to I'm going to promise you something silly and this is going to this is going to this is going to basically this is going to be the energy of when I play this game on stream. Thank you for the shout out. I'll help Carmen. Roger that. I'll let Alejandra know you can help her later. I've had a few requests come in, both in need of a talented driver. I've got Care to take a look? I've got staff, everybody. Did you know I had a staff? I have, I have like six employees now. Not that I'm paying any of them, but maybe one day I will. Thank you, Seedlit, for doing the shout out. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Those numbers are looking a little bit high. Let me know if that's okay. These viewers, I'm so hungry. I requested a refund of Bo. It's stunning, but the chase scenes are crazy and I'm not a platformer person. I have not tried it. I, um... Good on you for doing the refund, because some, some people stick that out and it's not... Uh, that sound does sound a little bit high in my ears, though. That was a bit loud. That was a bit loud, so we'll go down to 30 on all of the car stuff. Check out that maximum volume, you know, at this. Seem that true form. Shadow, let me get, let me get, let me get, don't, don't, let me get in. I haven't done this in a while. Dear Endless Shadows, thank you for renewing your subscription to Big Booty Chickens Monthly. Please consider the attached Andalusian chicken as a complimentary gift. They respond to the name Beaky Muck Beak Face. I will do that contra. I will do that switch over in just a second. 
we're going to bring the radio down to... No, the radio stays there. The speech will go down to 55, so it's marginally higher. Do that as well. Save and continue. Let's try that. That's in the green. Seedlip, is that alright? I feel like I have to yell a little bit. People being adorable. I don't mind if you give it the time, but there is no time for fuck ups at all, and I can't do that. I tried for 30 minutes and rage quit. I don't rage quit any game. That is my third game since I streamed. If you have to rage quit, Lucy, don't fear, like, respectfully. Some games are like that. You can't, you can't enjoy everything. I want to take this opportunity of Spotlight to shine a bright onto. Do I pin it in chat? Do I pin that spotlight? I'll leave that. Yeah, morally, Cedar, I will leave that decision up to you. I want to take this opportunity of spotlight to shine a bright light on Chim and Dolly. They're both wonderful. Dolly more so than Chim, but we don't exclude right. In all seriousness, you two are wonderful, and it's always a great time being around either or both of you. I mean, so we're out to make me cry today, are we? Is this what you're trying to do? You're just out here trying to make me cry? <laughs> there was an actual break in my voice then for a second. Did you hear that? That was new. Uh... I'm going to break a personal taboo and lower the master volume because I think that balance of everything else makes sense. Okay, that's in the green. Zach, how's it going? If you want to pin that seed lit, you live your best life. You have arrived at your destination. It's really fun trying to balance audio whilst live. I do, however. There we go. This is going to be silly, everybody, so strap yourselves in. This is what my guy looks like, and I'm really sad about it. Look at him. It's just a bald man. It'll go away in a bit. Thank you for saying that, though, Jura. No beard. There's no beard as an option. These are my difficulty settings. If anybody's out here judging me, I have literally just reinstalled this game today. It took eight hours. So I have to play it at least twice, otherwise that time is wasted. 176 gigabytes. 176 gigabytes. This is Scotty Tyler broadcasting to you live from a plane. This time we are throwing everything we have got at this superstar. Let's get it. We're coming at you from a plane. Uh, pilot, there's a temple on the runway. Temple on the runway. I get to do I get to do the proper brain satisfying thing like looking down in the bottom right corner to check my speed. How many hours did you play this game so far in your life? 117. But I've started fresh for today's stream. This is a brand new save. Let's see what else you got. Now you think right now that I'm racing a plane. And you're sort of right, but you'll see what's going to happen. Hey, 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 the cargo doors are opening. You want me to shut this? Oh, that was the plan? We got bikes. Touch now. Go team motorcycle. Now it's a race horizon. Superstar driver versus daredevil bikers. Who you got? Ooh. 
so skillful. Not skillful. There we go. I, you get to see all of my very exciting faces. The plane is named Gina. How did you know that? Did it say Gina? Jira told me. Hey, uh, did we lose a biker? Okay, I can breathe now. I can unclench my bum. Oh, city driving in this game is a time. back in chat after the race and i will so if you're gonna say anything rude i oh, will what? spot it what is that the races aren't that long in the grand scheme of things you've got three minute breaks between me reading and i can try wait is that a wait, this is me reading chat and then this is me not crashing into something is that a wing suit and this kid is not stopping Uh, this is so dumb, I love it. Also, the sick drum and bass. Okay, now let's name and shame. Who was saying what in chat? Gotta go fast. The plane is Gina, turn into a... The plane is Gina, turn it into a... Turn into a submarine. This feels safe. Love my ass of what the fuck is gonna... The, the plane is gonna turn into a submarine. The, get, the plane is called Gina. I like that. The plane will forever now be known as Gina. This is so dumb, I love it. I was worried that you didn't play it the time before. You felt like you have to play the amount it took to download. Just wanted to make sure you're not feeling proud. I'm not a wingsuit. I'm not. I, I... Let me get away from the drum and bass. What a race! Oh, that was incredible! Look at that man, though. He's so Horizon. ugly. You can keep the car. If you were the actor that did the 3D modeling for this character, he's so ugly, though. Where's the beard? Please. The game's no longer being developed, but please add beards. Okay, that was that. Uh, I was worried that you didn't play it a ton before you felt like you have to play the amount it took to download. Just wanted to make sure you're not feeling pressured. I am not saying that this is going to become a game that i play on the regular but i needed to scratch this itch because i've been waiting the last 48 hours to play a racing game and i like i we skipped control yesterday and then by the time this had installed i'm not going to play i'm not going to bin 100 hours into this on stream but there's a there's a certain amount of childish glee i get from playing this game so hopefully that comes through in my content and if you're not into cars hopefully you, you will get into the being mean to me in chat because that's inevitable and then i will read it back after i've raced and then we can laugh about that together because we're not actually going to bangkok this is mexico i trapped you ha ha id mod when i just i don't think it's gonna happen we won't do this thing, but maybe, just maybe. Okay, so we've done, this is what they call a showcase, right? Uh, and then as you sort of go along, I've yet to unlock any of the sort of main races because this is literally the map. It's absolutely freaking huge. You can go to every single one of these roads. It is that big. So they sort of do an introduction to the types of quests you can do after you've done that first showcase. We have... Uh, we can go to Alejandra, who needs help finding an old car somewhere up in the hills above Moulage. We've got to go find a beetle. We're going to go do that. That is a Volkswagen beetle. I'll go with Alejandra. Got it. Right. I'll let Karma know you can help her later. We're in the middle of freaking nowhere. And then we get the joy of driving to the uh, boss. Finally, Haley got me a driver. Hey, Have you played you other four games? Hey, Forza games? I I've played Forza of Four. Of car history, the watch I played Forza Four, which was set in Britain, and I bought it entirely because it was set in Britain. And I binned 71 hours into it over the course of a couple of weeks, and it was absolutely brilliant. The difficulty at the time was the DLC for it was very expensive, 
and I sort of got out of the habit of playing it, and then they did this one. And this one, I have not touched the DLC, so I figured I would... I already have the DLC, I've just not played it. I like the Mexico one just because I... There's... This one feels like there's a lot more scope. Rachel, are you here to watch me crash into things? Because you can. Mr. Wizard? Mr. Wizard, I just... I just beat Mr. Wizard. Is this an Uber Turn to Bangkok? Uh, we, we'll get to... Meters. Turn left. We'll get to Bangkok eventually. I have to go get a ferry. Can you get a ferry from Mexico to Bangkok? Uh, Jura, the Falls of Four was set in Scotland. Just saying, maybe you should play Falls of Four. You could go to you could go to Edinburgh. Turn right. Turn right. That's a bed. It's fine. You have? Good. If you wanna play the Mexican if you wanna get on the grind if you wanna get on the Mexican grind, do you wanna race cars together someday? That'd be cool. talking about Chim's favorite Forza game. I have played a whopping two. I don't enjoy... You can't take a ferry on land, though. Uh, Car is here, too. Thank you for renewing your subscription to Big Booty Chickens Monthly. Please consider the attached Malay chicken as a complimentary gift. Their name is Egbert. Enjoy that. We're at 38 chickens already. I feel like I have to... I watched Andrew play them. I don't... I will say, I don't like racing games that are like... I don't enjoy racing games when they're sort of... The open world component of Forza Horizon is really interesting. Forza Motorsport, where you have to do just set races over and over again, is real tedious. I, I, don't, I don't often enjoy racing games like that to put in as much hours in th into them as this one has. Glad to see you accepting Bangkok. I'm not accept expect I'm not accepting Bangkok. Did you not get the go live notification? The go live notification was no, we are not making Bangkok a thing. I can make it a thing out of choice. If you guys want to make it a thing, that's when we're gonna have a problem. So let's be honest, it's still gonna be made a thing, regardless hey, of what I say. Ellie, how can I help? Jump in the buggy. I'll tell you the story on the way. I played Need for Speed Most Wanted on 360. Ramiro I really enjoyed that as a kid. was looking things at his padre's home last week, and he found this photo. He gave it to me, said I might enjoy it, but I don't think he realized what it was. My friend, what would you say are the two most important things in Mexican culture? Uh, family and food? Family and art? Family and music? Family and something. <laughs> Close. Familia and the Volkswagen Beetle. Bocho is the Mexican nickname. My bisabuelo Fernando was the first Torres to own one. And thanks to that photo, I think I know where it is. Seriously? Let's go find it. We're gonna find a Volkswagen Beetle. Hey, look at that dope Jeep. I think this is what they call a dune buggy, right? You're gonna go dune buggying? So, tell me about him. Bisabuelo means great grandfather. But in the family, he's just Papa Fernando. We never met, but everyone says I'm exactly like him. <laughs> Loca por autos. You have to understand, in Mexico, a bocho is like the family member that lives in your garage. Papa Fernando loved that car to death. And I think Muerte finally came for it on a muddy road near here. He took one last photo and left it there. You just so, abandoned the car? That's where we're going. If you can find it, I can get it running again. I really hope we can save it. Let's get up into the hills. Look for a turnoff. There should be a road or, or a track. One of my favorite things about this franchise is the off-roading, which I'm kind of excited Aquí. about. Just like in la foto. Look around. Which I'm kind of excited about because one <laughs> of the DLCs is the entire off-road based. But no sé, why would Papa Fernando bring the watch up here? If a family the member lived in tremendous. my garage, I might abandon it too. Oh, the family member or the garage? 
That's not. You can't say that. I don't enjoy racing games. Let period. Not good at them. The not door. into cars whatsoever. So I watch Andrew play it a couple Is of times a year, and I help him get the signs. He's really here. <laughs> we found it for you, Papa Fernando. I've got a very rusty but beetle. Look at it. I've never seen a beetle like that. It's a bit rusty. I've never seen a beetle like that. It's because it's been in a oh, shed. The weather's closing in. I don't like the look of the roads around here. You drive the truck. Got it. Why did we have to go off-road to get here if this giant truck could get here via road? I'll have to put in a new battery, plenty of oil, llantas, or electrico. Oh, this is going to be hard, even for me. <laughs> it's a beetle. Bet it starts first go. You're going to start drifting a lorry <laughs> you know, now, chat. I wouldn't be surprised. No, I'm not going to drift a lorry. It's not going to happen. Ugh. Jura, I would just like to confirm if Keep you didn't hear me say at the beginning of the stream, the I, don't like, I don't like cars either. Maybe we'll be lucky. Uh, Twitch, you were mid-sentence and Twitch goes up. You're going to watch this streamer now. You have no choice. Did the, did the stream just raid out automatically? Is everybody still here? Uh, maybe not so lucky after all. Can I get a salute ah, in chat? Looks like road works. Can you find a way past it? Yes, I can, mate. <laughs> I think I can manage that. That's completely <laughs> healthy. That's one way through. What are you going to do with it? It raided me out. I have Weird. muchas ideas. That's the thing about a bocho. It's not just a car. It's a lifestyle. Seedlet, are you raiding out individual audience members? Unfortunately, I'm here. Unfortunately, wow. Okay, now I'm going to tell you everything I like about Kara, okay? And then they're going to feel really guilty about what they just said in chat. Kara is a really lovely person. I really like the um, relationship they have with their family. The fact that their entire family has been in my chat is hilarious to me. And I have like adored here, getting to know the their family individually. What did I tell you? At the same time, finding lost cars isn't magic. It takes they really luck, like their cats and obviously work, take care of them very well. Sometimes a drone. <laughs> Ooh, my friend, the hard work is just getting started. Call you soon. They have a very bubbly personality, which, to be honest, I'm not bubbly in the slightest. So somebody's got to be out there being more energetic than me. And honestly, it's quite nice to surround myself with slightly more energetic people. Because if you can't tell, I might be weird sometimes, but I'm not exactly peel me off the ceiling weird. I nailed it, everybody. Look, some mountains. Very exciting. Uh, what else about Kara? They work in a... Hail, Polo Diablo. We've kicked off a whole bunch of new events, so it's time for you to get out there and show us what a superstar can do. Everything you do earns you accolades. Think of them as mini challenges that cover races, stunts, exploration, everything. If you earn enough accolades, we'll be able to expand and kick off the next chapter of the Horizon Adventure. Yourself? Or if you're feeling slightly more impulsive, we could catch a slingshot straight to Hot Wheels Park. What'd you say? Or if you're looking for something, a bit more down to earth, something with grit, glory, and rally driving, then I have just what you want. So, what do you want to do first? You have a nice family. You're so off on the family thing, though. Are you saying your family's not nice? Rachel, are you hearing this? Your family, your family's not nice, Rachel. Did you just hear that from Kara? Kara, I will not, I will not have you belittle Rachel in that way in my chat. I'm the nicest. Kara, you also work in a field in terms of, I don't want to, it's not my place to talk about where you work, but I really appreciate the work that you do. Not that it's relevant to me as an individual based off where you're doing it off in the world somewhere. But the fact that you do that and that there is somebody working in that profession is actually super important and that is good. Hope you're having a fun kick-ass forever winner everything, blow a dozen kisses and then books it. <laughs> Ellie, thank you for that. I've just got dry, I bet that's a, that's a drive-by muffing. Rachel is indeed the nicest member of my family and she married into my family. I mean, she can also tell everything, uh, she can also tell everybody in your family that you're saying these things. Should you be saying this in front of Rachel? Have you considered the, um, you know, the negative, the negative? 
I do my best. Rachel's lovely. I'm actually, I'm beginning to hang out with Rachel in other people's streams because Rachel was in Jura's stream earlier today. It's funny to see the amount of people that are crossing over to various places. I wouldn't say a pe peep except maybe to Son of Pepsi. What? And I'm sure they'll never say anything. I'm sure they're entirely, uh, you know, in the politest way possible. I bet they can keep a secret. Long story short, my family has never been close. Okay, by the, but when I say your family, I do that your mother and father have not been in my chat when i say family i mean son of pepsi rachel and you have i met your mother is a popular tv show i could go for some racing no we're not going to do turn that turn around when it is safe to do so car isn't green anymore why why aren't you green, Kara? How dare you? Uh, I don't know what to do now. We're going to go... We're going to go... Yeah, I should never meet you. I should never meet your mother, Kara. Just saying. That would be dangerous. I'm sure they won't mind that. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh my god, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, we're gonna go do a race. I could get her on here. Don't get Kara's mum on here. Just like four hundred meters, turn left. Just like Evil Seedlet's husband, they will inevitably fall in love with me. Turn left. We're going to take our nice new Corvette and we're going to go do a race. She's a nice lady. All mothers are nice ladies. Except when they're not. I'm so lonely. Is Josh not there with you today? If he told you he was coming to see me, he probably lied. Do you mean to cut your ear off though? Take the first exit. Do we get some secrets about Kara? Rachel, have you got any shit secrets you can share about Kara? Yeah, he's at the airport right now. I... He's... He doesn't have my address. He can't possibly be coming to see me. We, we, meet, in, we meet in McDonald's car parks. In 400 meters. My mum is not a nice left. word. I mean, all mothers being nice in that sense is probably a bad thing to say. Yes, I do understand that bad mothers do exist. Not all mothers are good. You have arrived at your destination. All right, I'm starting to think you're obsessed with me. What gives you that idea? Uh, we are going to go you. I'm obsessed with all of you, chat. I'm really happy to be streaming. I'm really happy to have found the audience that I have. Um, so when I joke back and forth with people in chat like this, I don't, like, I'm not intentionally being, like, insulting. It's just, it's just how I show affection to people that I know in my life. Let me think I'll come up with a good one. You're all pretty cool, to be honest. You, you attract people through Twitch who are like-minded individuals. Okay, I have to concentrate. Hellraiser Andy Stroyer has just joined the Bok Bok Brigade. Hellraiser, thank you for the follow. I can't press my welcome command right now because I'm driving a car. But I appreciate the follow so much. I hope you're having an absolutely brilliant day. I have started a fresh save on this game. We're driving cars. We are chatting with chat. And we're having a good time. How many laps am I doing? Three. Is 
sup? Sup with you. I hope you're having a good day. And don't mind my terrible driving. I have literally just picked up this game for the first time in like six months. Probably more than six months. Sooner or later, the game's gonna up the difficulty and I'm gonna be scared. I'm doing good, just making tunes for old cars. Oh, you're one of those really smart people that tunes the cars in this game? I am... Um, I'll be honest. You make, you, make, you make my gameplay of this game easier. I go online and I find customizations for the cars in this game. I do not, I do not understand cars at all. Being able to go into the settings menu and download optimized settings for the individual cars is great. And the fact that people can release that as like a content production thing is really good. Everybody in my chat that is usually here, this game has a really cool mechanic. So when you want to customize a car so it suits a certain road surface, or it's like good at drag racing or various other car related activities, you can go onto an, the online like service center and you can download customizations that people have pre-made and their username is assigned to it and you can rate it in a certain way. So thank you for all of the work that you do. Because honestly, I would not be able to play this game as averagely as I do without people making the tunes for me. Because I do not understand what different bits of a car are called. I just throw together random things for my own fun, but you must understand to a certain degree what's happening because I definitely don't. What is our love? What is our life? Big prize is an offer every time. Also, you get a wheel, a wheel spin. spin. I have a. Wait, 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 wait. Haley. I think I've just realized the origins of something and I didn't realize that that was the case. Everybody knows the Hat Wheel. When did Forza Horizon 4 come out? 2018. Everybody, if I joined you, I could show you some of my stupid tunes. I am not, I'm literally playing this for the first time today on stream. I'm not looking to join up with people today, but thank you for the offer. If it becomes a regular thing on stream, I will probably open the doors to that sort of thing. But currently, I, I'm, I'm, I'm relearning the game right now. Um, I'm still thinking. 2018. I would like to introduce you to the origins of the Hat Wheel. Very strange, unrelated question. Is there wigs for beards? Is there a beard wig? Um, you can get a fault. You can get a fake beard, but I don't. I think people that can't grow beards in that way don't tend to just fake them. I think fake beards tend to be used for disguises. Are you trying to get a fake beard, Jerry? Are you trying to get a fake beard? I've always said, all right. Just know the unbeatable level of racing you'll mainly lose. I expect, I, I fully expect to. But at the same time, I'm letting the difficulty settings um, arc up as I win races. So I eventually will get to a, a I'll, I'll eventually plateau and I expect I will never get to the unbeatable level. Um, Jura, are you trying to buy a fake beard? Is that what you're doing, Jura, please? I was just thinking about how you can donate your hair to make a wig out of it. Was wondering if you could do the same for beards. <laughs> I honestly don't know if that's a thing. Because I can understand the top of your head because to a certain degree, from a social perspective, people having hair on their head, especially for men, is like a cultural norm. Bald people are still stigmatized to a certain degree, um, especially bald women, obviously. But at the same time, baldness for a lot of people is a negative, regardless if you're a man or a woman. So... Hair on your head kind of makes sense that toupees should exist, to could, should and can exist, but I don't think people are that bothered by beards. Human hair beards has to be a thing. Power stroke. Thank you for the first time chat. I hope you're doing well. 
Uh, also, uh, hello. Yeah, we're talking about we're talking about whether or not beards exist, beard wigs exist. Jura, one of my if I ever make it big on Twitch, and I have no f ever, I have no expectations that what this will ever happen. But one of the first like official customized pieces of uh, customized pieces of merch that I want to do is a Chimkin brand fake beard. So when in my ad breaks per hour. I take a break to comb my beard. Everybody else that has a Chimkin branded beard can comb their fake beard at the same time. Good. How about you? Good. I have just picked up this game for the first time. I basically my day today, Power Stroke. I'm gonna I'm gonna lump a load of information on you. I I spent the entire day doing nothing because I was watching this game install for the first time in like I haven't I haven't played it in a while. I reset my save and we're starting from scratch. Um, because my brain was like, you need to play a racing game and you don't have any money to buy a racing game, so you need to play this racing game you already own. And that's generally how my day has gone. But it was a busy day yesterday, so that's not a bad thing. I just, I watch people on Twitch. Are we going to actually have to look up a beard wig? Give me a second, I'll get Google up. We'll look at a beard wig. Oh, okay. The things I do for content chat. The things I do for content. Beardwig. I was just on the same website. Let me get the link. Atelier Bassi Beardwigs. Have you gotten the new Aventador in Forzia? I haven't. I have literally been playing this. I have literally just reinstalled the game. I wiped my game save to zero and I've been... I've been playing the game for 53 minutes. I'm not even I'm not even entirely sure which Aventador you're talking about. You learn something new every day. Beard wigs, everybody. <laughs> why did why that face? Why did they go out and go? I gotta go to the bathroom, come back to a fucking horror movie. Why of all faces did they pick to get this face with all of these beards? We got the sideburns, we got the Tufty Boy. They look like funking cadavers. Oh, but would you not rock at Jura? If I sent what's it what what is CHF? You playing alone? I am playing alone. Uh literally just leaned into the game first time today, so I'm not looking to uh I'm not looking to join out with people today, but thank you. Why does the one have curls? Um What is CHF as a currency? Swiss franc. So what's the conversion of one Swiss franc? One power stroke. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the bot bot brigade. Do not let the power go to your head. I'm just a random bearded man on the internet. Cluck cluck. Power stroke 2732 has just joined the bot bot brigade. Uh, one Swiss franc to one GBP. So it's about... It's about 20p difference, so that's about, that is a Jura. Jura, if I send you a 42 pound fake mustache, would you wear it on stream and just not give any context to why? Like every time somebody asks you why you're rocking a massive fake mustache, you just have to go, I don't know what you're talking about and move on to the next thing. Please, can any of the content creators in chat do that for me? I'll be in chat the entire time just dying. <laughs> oh, please, please, please. Can we all just start rocking fake? Only if I can put it over my beard. No, you, if you have facial hair, it's not... If you have facial hair, it's not as funny. I would, but no camera. I would if I streamed. Oh, please, please. I mean, I, I'm going to start. I might. I mean, I would do that if I wasn't weirded out by having someone else's hair on my face. It's, I'm sure it's clean. I will do it 100%. Can we, can I, I might, I might invest some of my Twitch earnings next month to buying a community funded fake mustache, which we can paste, post around to people. Yes, these are, they aren't made of real hair. So what is this made out of? I need to put some music on if we're looking at fake beards. I just look at it. <laughs> it is film lace. Whatever that means. Yeah, it's it's not real beer. It's not real. You play GTA 2 or no? I do not. I mostly play it. Well, I'm a variety streamer, but it's um 
and the cat's here. You can buy it in any color, Jura. I could match it to your own color. I could match it to your... We could get color... We could get color-coded fake beards for community members. Oh, I might actually have to invest in a giant fake mustache. I finally thought about a secret of shirt of J for Kara. Please share. Taylor Chit, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. We are racing some cars today, but we're also looking at terrifying fake beards. Because obviously I'm not lacking in that regard. Kara and her brother didn't fight a lot as kids, or at least from what my husband has told me, they just didn't. I could be wrong, though, because his memory isn't always reliable. But did this dude put all these beards on dead people? Someone reported to... That's a fake face. I just... It's not the most attractive fake face. Right? You're not incorrect? Like, I don't... If you're going to have a model, right? Is it the beards that are terrifying or the mannequin? This is it, right? The beards aren't scary. If you have a mannequin, it should either be completely flat and, like, formless or, like, be attractive because you're trying to advertise the thing that's on the mannequin. What I don't understand is why they've decided on this face. And if you were the... If you were the... If you were the face owner of this mannequin... We've insulted two entire people's visualness today. If you were the face owner of this mannequin... If you were if you were covered in plaster of Paris and like turned into this mannequin, I'm really sorry, but I'm gonna have nightmares. What else do they sell on this website before we actually do gameplay? Human hair, synthetic hair, animal hair. Why did we choose this particular site, by the way? There has to be better beards. It's one that somebody recommended to me. It relates to none of my stories regarding sibling quarrels. Jim likes unrealistic standards. I do, unrealistic standards of mannequin. Oh, we had quarrels. Who in chat has siblings? Raise your hand. I think I think everybody I think I think family members like that fight sooner or other than later. I've had more I've had more quarrels with my brother since we've become adults. Oh, I've never had a... I never had a... Do you want... Can, Ra Rachel. I know you're... I, I'm just going to put it out there. I have two brothers. I was bigger than... I was bigger than both of them by the time I was about 12. I have never had a physical altercation with either of them. I'm no contact... I'm sorry about that, c -Lit. I don't know why I'm... You know... I think that's something people say in that situation, right? If anything, fan families are better. From, you know, eh, it's all right, thank you. I think people say sorry, right? It's one of those, same with my brother. Okay, okay, hear me out. We all meet and rock up with massive beards like Jim. We pretend all is normal. Yeah, if we ever do ChimCon, if I, again, if I ever become super popular, we'll do ChimCon and, um... We'll all rock massive beards. For real, I have lots of fan family. Let's do some How car driving. Not bad. You'll find all the latest Horizon events on your map. Go explore. Have fun. I've just been on the map. We're going somewhere. Stop trying to make me do things. It'll be in Bangkok. I mean, I feel like of all the places, Bangkok would probably not be able... I don't think Bangkok's probably the easiest to run a convention in. Ignore that. You'll make it work, won't you, Jim? What, Bangkok? <laughs> yeah. Sure. I need, you all need to subscribe if that's the case. We need to start raising funds now. 
You have arrived at your destination. Uh, we are 15 seconds away from an ad. I'm going to get up and stretch my legs. So what you're going to do is you're going to go grab yourself a glass of water, grab yourself a snack, hug a loved one, sniff a beloved family animal, and basically take care of yourself for the next three minutes because self-care is important. You're all important. Thank you for joining me today um, and watching me drive badly and talk about going to Bangkok. What exactly is the goal for Bangkok? The bids or something else? I mean, Chimcon, it's like... Uh, it's like... It's like a, it's like a Comic Con type thing. We all get together and just worship me, or like we'll have an artist alley because there's lots of artists in the community, right? And they'll all sell their wares, and there'll be a ball pit because all the best cons have ball pits. Does anybody else remember that meme about the con on the internet that had a ball pit, and that was literally it? Or am I just referencing somebody no, nobody else gets? Let's go BRB, and I'll be right back. Hello. I'm back and I have a mango tango. Have a good rest of stream chat, Jura. I would say sweet dreams, but usually you're in and out like freaking like if you're actually leaving Jura, I hope you sleep well. And if you're not actually leaving Jura, I'll see you in about 10 minutes. Because that's generally how it goes. Okay, I just did a lot very quickly in three minutes. Let's race. I'm 
I'm so sad he doesn't have a beard. And I'm going to complain about it every time I see his face. Look at him. He's so ugly. Ugh. There was no facial hair option. Hopefully the next one will have facial hair. Drive to the fake beard store in Mexico. That is not a good turn. Wow, that was a that was something. counts if I'm bouncing off the other cars. It's not cheating. That was bad. So, you can reverse time in this game when you really fuck up and you know you're just going to go from 1st to 12th. I'm going to try not to use it too heavily. What in the Prince of Persia? Okay, so like there's a so this is it this is it right. I don't know why this feature exists because you you can't you can use it in the PvE component of the game but obviously you can't use it in Can you use it in multiplayer? I don't think you can. I think if you use it online you would be heavily penalized. But if you absolutely ball something up that's going to almost basically throw you out of the race entirely, like if you you have to nail each one of the gates, and if you miss one of the gates, it's actually quite difficult to sort of like loop around, go through the gate again, continue without losing basically your entire running in the race. I think this feature exists to stop people from just like having to restart. That's literally it. And it becomes less good... It's not as good at higher difficulties because obviously the cars, as soon as you screw up, get so much further out ahead of you, or right, in general much further ahead of you anyway, that by the time you do reset, it's it's not nearly as I'm gonna I'm gonna hop out of this and I'm gonna show it to you, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be trying not to do it too many times. Because I wanna relearn the game, obviously. So we do this, and you can press Y and you can reset the race to a certain point. And I don't know how I feel about it, and I never have done. Like, you can reset it to here, but if you've really screwed up, you've really screwed up, and it's kind of just unavoidable. Like, I went through that... I went I went through that turning so much better the first time. Also, Ziggy, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. How's it going, Ziggy? Triple six. How's it going? I haven't seen you in a while. We racing cars badly, Triple Six and Ziggy. We racing cars real badly. I've got 1,000 hours in this game. You've beat me like 10 times. Always wanted to play Forza, but my PC would struggle. I. Your current PC would probably do this on low to medium. Don't get me wrong. It is a fairly complex game. But it would probably. It would probably do alright. Like. I think you'd have to test it. I have low in almost all games. Okay, maybe I'll take it back. How is your how are your savings going towards getting a new PC, Ziggy? I know you had to put obviously don't get too much into detail about having to I know you had to spe spend your savings that time. Have you have you recomped any? Like is the new PC still a potential thing? It's not sucky. Oh Ziggy.
I want to run myself even shorter each month, I totally could, but I'm not going to be silly with it. No, don't be, don't, like, don't, you got to live. Right? you got to live. Good point, running over all checkpoint banners. It works. As long as you're slightly inside rather than outside. It's fine. And it means you can take the corners wider. The triple, you've got a thousand hours in Forza. I reset my game today. I recently got started on Final Fantasy Rebirth. You say that and you instantly do it. How is Rebirth? I played I played Remake. Don't spoil Rebirth, because I want to play Rebirth, but I'm waiting for the PC release, which will inevitably happen. Um, but I'm I want to talk about your a thousand hours in this game. How do you rate it? Do you like it? Do you love it? Have you played motorsport? It's really good. Rebirth is really good. I am I'm I'm really excited for the PC release. Uh, when the PC release gets an announcement date, I'm inevitably going to have to, I'm inevitably going to have to do um, replay remake. I might do that as a stream thing. I feel cross country. Do I have a cross country car? Deserto Trailo. Desert. Deserto. Deserto. That was just bad. That was bad language. Uh, okay, so we've done the races that we've got access to. We have access to cross country, which is sort of a mixed bag, and we have access to off road, which actually is my preference. So what we do is we go to cars. I'm reminding myself now, tune car. I want to tune browser. We keep records of every mechanic who goes through the garage. So if you want to try someone else's engine tune, you can. I want to. I want I want off-road. I've seen this car with off-road. I had this car with off-road. Uh is there a search option? Search. Grip, drift, drag, circuit all round. Tim can compliment himself. Why you gotta do this to me? Best for speed, good, average, best for handling, beginner, novice, expert, got all around close. Okay, that's a lot of words I don't understand. Off road. Search. Okay, there's the off road bills for my Corvette. Um, we're gonna take a very nice looking sport car in a, into a place that we really shouldn't take it. It'll be real fun. Uh, 8.2. That handling is kind of terrifying. 7.4. Uh, but Tim can compliment himself. What are we going to compliment ourselves about today? I'm thinking about it. I've like... I'm not going to say... I'm not... I'm not... I'm, I don't want to jinx it by saying it out loud, but Twitch is going real well. I have had two very good months, and that's all thanks to you guys. So if you are here and you're in chat, obviously the people in the back, people in the back that aren't here right now, I've had, it's been a real good time the last couple of months. I usually want to tune to the top end, 9980-900, so if I go... It can be it can be a fast race as long as it goes off road. The nine hundred eight. I'm not a fan of that handling. I'd much rather the seven point four. That's a good all rounder and is only slightly marginally lower on torque. How does that compare? Actually, this one has more brake horsepower. Download and install. We're gonna take a sports car off road. Um, Do you want to continue working, or shall we get these installed? Yeah, let's do it. I know I say this a lot, but obviously me at Dolly streamed yesterday and uh, that was a really good time. I want to thank everybody that turned up for that stream because that was great. 
Um, they are still on hiatus, but uh, they are sort of like nervously vibrating about the fact that they might like to do more like one once in a while streams, which I'm really excited for them about. But I said afterwards in the thank you message that I posted in the Discord that you guys make the community. And I know I've said this before, and I know you're going to go, oh, but Jim, can you do the Twitch streaming? It's not about me at the end of the day. We are the tools that bring you guys together. And if we had attracted any like horrible people, uh, they wouldn't have been around for very long because honestly, I think all of you would have scared them away. And that's good because you're nice, but you're also scary. No, that's not a nice way to put it. Um, you're all great. And I want you all to take a bow. I've unlocked all the cars and maxed out my money at nine, 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 nine that's... 999 million. 999,999. We're scared. You're not scary. You, 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 I'm scared now. You protect me. Like, I feel, I feel looked after. As much as we joke about it, I feel looked after by people in the community as well. And I know a certain amount of it is look, me looking after you guys with all of the positivity talk and the self-care and all of that stuff. But if I wasn't getting all of that back from you guys in some way, it would be a much like harder thing to keep up, I think. So, yeah, you're all great. Take the compliment. I'm now hiding under my bed. Uh, let's do off-road. Take the compliment. We're going to move on. We're going to go do some off-road driving. It's going to go flawlessly. Well, it Can't make me... So. But the engine, even the engine sounds different. Tim can compliments himself, but I complimented you! Bought Forza Horizon 4 last week as it's been deleted in September, delisted in December. Ultimate Edition was 17 quid. Brilliant game. It was how I got into the franchise. I can't take the compliment because I'm scared. I need to compliment myself. Um, I make a mighty fine portion of toast. Like, the correct amount of butter. No jam, because jam is disgusting. <laughs> Luxury pigeon. I'm, we're just talking about how terrible jam is. Flap, just... flap. Luxury pigeon just traded with 21 views. Pidge, you take, me as, you take me as a man that wouldn't like jam. Am I right? Raiders, my name is Chimkin, otherwise known as Chim. I am a variety streamer, and currently we are... I've basically picked up Forza Horizon 5 today for the first time in ages, and we've reset the game, and we're playing from scratch, and I'm just relearning it, and we're chatting shit with chat. I'm about to take a Corvette off-road, if that's your thing. It depends what is being jammed. I don't like strawberry conserve. Luxury Pigeon is a jam enjoyer. Where do you like to jet? No, I can't ask that. I would just like to publicly uh, apologize to Luxury Pigeon for some of the shit that I posted in their chat today uh, and got caught by the auto mod. But at the same time, Luxury Pigeon, I would like to also uh, say that I am super happy that you don't ban me when I type stuff like that because you know where it's coming from. And I do get a little sly giggle. I do. I see it. There's a little bit of a grin when it happens and then we just move on and that's how we deal. I don't see a blanket, blanket statement like jam is the worst when it's actually strawberry conserve you don't like, of course. No, but this is the thing, right? Americans think jam and je je you guys have jam and jelly. And when I say jam, like as a British person, I am talking about jam, like strawberry conserve jam. Jura, help me open a jar of jelly today. A jelly jar today. See, you say jelly. I don't know what jelly is. We don't have that. We have jam. What about jam and butter? I fucking hate jam. I hate it. If I wanted to eat fruit, I would eat fruit. Why would I want to make it slightly more complicated and butter it on toast? That then makes everything all sticky. If I want to eat butter, if I want to eat, sorry, if I want to eat toast, there is nothing better on toast than Lurpak properly salted butter on sourdough toast is the best if you put jam on that shit it would be disgusting shaking crying jam and peanut butter is pretty damn good luxury pigeon three quarters of my community are american are you trying to make them your community i i'm out kara is that because we're talking about jam <laughs> i've talked about worse things there was a stream where we were Kara, I, I just want to say, 
I just want to say I have a button for this. If jam is your line and that stream the other day wasn't, I think you haven't got your priorities straight. And just as a reminder, I'll press the button. Five, four, three, two. That one. Were you there? I think you were there when I played the clicking game. The clicking game about cucking. Like if 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 uh, yeah, if jam is the if jam is the point where you guys quit out the community and I never see you again, and you watch me play a game about cucking, I feel like you've got your priorities a little bit disproportionate. Is that scary, by the way? I saw that the other day. It's not. It's extremely arousing. Can we all just can we all just pay close attention to the fact that Evil Seedlet is now feeling comfortable enough with me as a mod to throw me in the bin? Not scary, just uncomfy. But it's too Pidge, Pidge, honestly. Pidge, honestly, if 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 you're gonna take my advice on anything in your life, go and buy click holding. Play it in chat. Like play it, play it on stream. Do not, like, try to review it. Do not comment on the quality of the game until the very end. And see what the response from chat is. Because the, the major selling point for me was that partway through, everybody in chat was, Wow, this game is shit. Why are you playing this? It's just, this is just so weird. And I sort of broke it to them that they'd been watching me click a thing in a game for two and a half hours... And they were still watching me two and a half hours later. And then everybody's opinion changed. Because they were like, actually, the story's interesting enough. And it's just you clicking a game that actually uh, my, my, we were still here. Like, it's not a bad game. It is such a weird game. But it is so good. It is so good. I love little shit. I love little, like, little, little things like that. Where it's sort of like... Oh, it's £2.64. Go buy it. Trigger warning though. Yeah, trigger warning though. Yeah, make sure you read the trigger warning. It's on the stream profile, Steam profile and pin it to the top of your chat. Um just just look up the trigger warning. It's on the it's on their it's on their Steam. I do like a bit of weird and cheap. I bet you do. Um <laughs> Um Pidge has been here enough that that wasn't creepy. We're moving on. you will arrive at your destination. You have arrived at your destination. It's time to take this Corvette off-road, chat. You and me together, we're going to off-road a Corvette. It's going to go real well. Uh, yeah, recommended off-road Corvette. The fact that this car goes off-road. Silly. Ignore my... Ugly characters. For, I'm so angry with the character models in this. I'm just look at him. He's got no beard. He's horrible. No facial hair at all. Sky Alakar is in the race. God damn it. A little bit too far to the right. And there's the Prince of Persia. No. Really bad. Really bad. Really freaking bad. Absolutely awful. Get out of the way, Porsche. You're drunk. There we go. There it is. There's the line. There's the line. 
out. They'll buff out. Anybody has the racing going? I am relearning the game. It is set to average. Like the difficulty is really down. And my I my manhood has never felt larger. No, that's a horrible thing to say. I'm doing great. It's going real well. I feel ex no. I just can we roll that back? Can I start that whole line of questioning again? We're doing real good. How's it going, Lexi? Can I get a shout out for Lexi if any of the mods are still listening? Lexi was introduced to me through one of the mods for Curiously Cuddly Cryptid. I have lurked in their channel multiple times. I will say it's not one I speak on the regular, but it's always a good time listening to them chat away. Uh, last time... I've not seen you live in a while. Are you still playing Borderlands? It's good going, thank you, thank you. Last time I played this, I built a drag tune three-wheel van. You did it. I won. By, like, they're not even finished yet. I beat him by a full 20, se like, 10 seconds. I'm just so badass. It's not because they are... You know what's going to happen? I'm going to go to my next race. I'm going to go to my next race, and the game's going to be like, you've won your last three races. Maybe you should hype make it difficult. Lexi, do you tune the cards yourself in this, or do you download the tunes? At the moment, no, I ain't doing Borderlands. Doing them myself. I do you know about cards because I, 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 every time somebody brings up the tunes that they've made, I'm gonna have to say this. I don't know anything about cars and can't tune the cars myself. I, 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 I download them. So I thank you for your, your, your cartoons which i download and it makes my life easier i do lol qualified mechanic okay that makes a lot of sense hi champkin tempe welcome in now i want to feel like a special boy evil seedlet is this game scary uh do you find racing cars scary seedlet uh tempe i'm getting confused uh tempe do you find racing cars scary i wanted to do something real quick i wanted to look at my clothes go home because I know there is a chicken customized character. I know that there was a chicken outfit in this game at one point, and I want to know if it's still gettable. See, this is. There it is. How do I get that? Uh. Oh, I can get it now. Hey. <laughs> I do not know. I've never raced a car. My character is no longer ugly, everybody. Check it out. Ta -ta -ta -ta. One outfit. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Can I put, like, what else have we got? Like, I can't see. I won't be able to see anything else. Can I get a pair of glasses? I assume that. Oh, somebody did that right at the very beginning. I never did it. Shadow, if you're still in chat, I apologize. Hello. I'm a chicken now. You might not like it, but that is what beak performance looks like. Okay, take a bow. Hey, evil seedlet. For that lovely pun and the fact that you didn't do it the other day, I'm going to request that you shout yourself out. Classic red shades. That's it. That's the look. That's the look. There we go. Everybody, they've got Minecraft helmets in this now? That I just have access to? Okay, let me just, let me just fix something.
because what's worse is knowing my dude is fully dressed under there and it would get very sweaty. You are in Mexico after all. I'm I just the fact that that exists is just Did you just shout out the wrong <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Evil Seal. There we go. And there's the emote. You can't see me looking directly at the camera. Shades with chicken outfit. I just... What other eye... Is there any other eyewear that looks good? I don't think there is. I could go red... But I, I just want to hide my original character so much. I, I hate the way this character looks. We're going to go red. We are a chicken man now. Uh, we are El Pollo Diablo, the chicken man. And I just want to do something real quick because this broke when I tried to launch it earlier. I'll get the rest of your cars to the garage. There Gives me a little more time with them. My license plate is now chimkin in all things. That was fun. Let's do another off-road. How are we doing for time? We got a little bit more time. Disconnected from free roam. I don't know what that means. We're just going to keep going. Around when it is safe to do so. Hundred and eighty miles an hour. Safe. In four hundred meters. Turn Almost. Right. Oh. Turn uh, right. Sat did did that sat nav just lie to me? In two hundred meters, turn right. You have arrived at your destination. That sat nav just lied to me, right? That wasn't... I wasn't imagining that. That was a thing. Okay, let's get absolutely destroyed. Look at him. That's better. Check him out. He's just so happy to be here now. Look at him. Yeah! That makes it. That makes it up. That's 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 better. We're gonna go above. We're like I've been on average. Well, this can ever fastest car in the world is 314 miles an hour. Okay, we're not close yet. Then I'm gonna raise the difficulty, everybody. You're watching me do it. We're going from average to average. We're gonna do this slowly. We're gonna do this ourselves, or we're gonna do it every time the game tells us to. Boom. Watch me suck now. Watch me absolutely get destroyed. Sanguine. Can I get a shout out for Sanguine? Please. Thank you. Oh god, my one sec, my camera's down there now. Why do I have a bow tie? Where did the bow tie come from? How long has this chicken been able to have hats? Um, there we go. I think the, uh, I think the pinball broke it, but who dressed the bird? I don't know. I didn't think that that was meant to be able to, I don't, that wasn't when a... When Kit, when the pinball, don't be afraid of using pinball, but I, th I, I, I'm not sure that's meant to happen. <laughs> but Sanguine is great. I really, whilst I was waiting for this game to download today, I watched an absolute shit ton of their content while they were playing Subnautica. Please go and drop Sanguine a follow.
Come on, get off the wall. I appreciate it, it means a lot. Now I was... Thank you, but I was... I, I re honestly, I really enjoyed myself. If there's any question about whether or not your content is enjoyable, it 100% is. See, I up the difficulty now there's people ahead of me all the time. And I suddenly can't take corners. Three laps, we've got... We got I'm about to cry. It's really good, because I told you to breathe when you were getting overly excited today, and I wasn't sure if you take that positively or negatively, but it you getting excited like that came across so well. When I, t when I told you to breathe, it was me being funny because you were under underwater in the game, and I thought you might stroke out. Is this how you drive in real life? 100%. You never want to get in a car with me. I am, I'm, they call me the, they call me, they don't call me anything. I don't have a nickname in real life, but if I did, they'd probably tell me I'm shit at driving and that would be my, yeah, but there goes that guy, shit at driving, that would be my nickname. It's hard enough keeping this car in a straight line. That was not good. I should be able to do some of these corners fluidly and it's not it's not come back to me yet. How we doing? Three laps. And it doesn't work to throw the car into the corner either. Not good. <laughs> Sanguine with the bits, thank you very much. Chirp, chirp. Sanguine MD just cheered 100. I took my hand off the steering wheel to press the fireworks. There's a car right behind me. He's so close behind me. Come on. There we go. Then stream and drive. No, Tempe, 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 Tempe. I need to get my real face up for this. Oh god, the, the real face is broken. Hello. I am El Pollo Diablo. I, I am chicken now. Tempe, I need to say something really important to you. There he is, look at him, he's so happy now. So handsome. And I'll say again, that was the origins of the Hat Wheel. Good news, I want some knee-high socks. Everybody knows that knee-highs are sexy. Oye, amigo, this is a fast travel board. Smash them to get a discount on fast travel. Smash them all, and Horizon will cover all your expenses. Dale. Hey. Okay, what I was going to say, Tempe is that it is illegal to it is illegal to ignore the feline redistribution system i would love to be in a position that a cat was just got like somebody was like here have this cat 
that is what is known as the feline redistribution system. If a cat comes to your front door and is clearly not owned by anybody and you don't take them in and love them unconditionally forever, that's going against the uh, that's going about the cat against the cat redistribution system. As long as they get on with your other animals and you're not like in a financial deficit from hat taking in this animal. I would do it. Just enjoy them. Just take them into your life and love them and give them a home and make them like make them just 100% satisfied in every day. Fresh has House Forza Horizon Five. Words. Hey yo, House Forza Horizon Five, Chimkin. How's everyone doing? Fresh, welcome in. I don't know how my cat will like a little kin, but I can try. Introduce them slowly. I would, but it's never happened to me. People sad, and I'm allergic, so there's that. Yeah, don't take a cat in if you're allergic to cats. Um, do the introduction properly, uh, Tempe. Keep them in a room. L there's all sorts of guides to how to do this properly online, but slowly just sort of like reintroduce them to each other. I would do it anyway. You'd just be like going to touch the cat every once in a while and then go, oh, nice cat. <laughs> Oh, nice cat! <laughs> that's what that, that's that, that's what Sanguine's offering to do. That's my impression of Sanguine allergic to cats. Are we talking a rash or a cough or what? Are you what are we talking about? Was that a good impression? Um, what happens is my eyes get red. Okay, that was a completely falsified impression then. Nietzsche, yeah. Can't abide, can't abide that. Uh, that's tragic. I fucking love cats, everybody. Can we can we all just can we all just get a salute in chat for cats? Zero sevens in chat for cats, because holy shit, our lives are so much better for having cats in them. Still follow Diablo. We're tracking well towards our first adventure. Keep going. We're all cheering for you. <laughs> Thanks, Haley. Turn around when it is safe to do so. I need to be on this bridge. If I became allergic, I don't know what I'd do. Do people just get allergic? Do people... Do people just become allergic to animals like that? I think it's something you have to have had from the very beginning, right? Take a shortcut. It's 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 an off-road Corvette. You can develop an allergy. I was born with it. If you become allergic to them, you can always get like one of those damn the free cats, right? You can get one of those bald meters. ones. Turn left. You can get cats that are like hypoallergenic. Is that the right word? I'm allergic to dust as well. Turn left. Yeah, so you're probably I'm entirely speculating. But you're probably allergic to dander. Like meters. the cat fur that Turn the cats left. leave around. So you could get one of those hairless ones. Turn left. Have arrived at your destination. Sphinx cats are not hypoallergenic. Are they not? What's the point of a sphinx? I thought they were good because they were. Don't listen to me if that's not the case, because I thought that I I thought the opposite. A, they have a tiny amount of hair and dander isn't fur. It's like dried cat saliva and stuff. Oh, I thought it was tied to fur. Okay, I'm wrong. I will hold my hands up and say... I will hold my hands up and say I'm wrong. I am not... I am brave enough to do that. Naked cats are great. I like them. I've never had the pleasure of meeting one, but if I did, I would love to. Uh, Sanguine, thanks for coming in. I hope you sleep well, and I hope to see you in another stream soon.
When you're allergic to cats, you are allergic to their saliva, so there isn't really such a thing as a hypoallergenic cat, but some are less allergenic. Not non-allergenic in your allergies are super bad, but you can't tolerate any cats. Unlucky for me, then. Oh. How are the puppies, Tempe? Like, are they... I think they were coming up to being... I, th I think it was coming up to you sending them away or, like, giving them to new owners. Where are we at with the puppies? They have been coming up with special cat food to target protein and saliva. That's an interesting... Like, as science goes, that's really interesting to me. They're coming up with the cat, uh, cat food to make them less spitty. As long as it still properly feeds them, that would be rad. That would be rad. On the dogs, the, pu the first puppet got to their new home on the 25th. I do get to keep one for a month as a board and train because her new owners are on holiday in Europe. Are you are you are you okay, Tempe? On that subject, is that I, I asked and didn't really think about it that you might have been sad. Are you are you okay to talk about that? Because I could understand that had been quite emotional. Uh, yeah, I don't know much about it, to be honest. I just know it's a thing. That is, like, if that's true, that is a piece of science I can get. Not that I'm not on board with science, but that's, that's cool, right? I like that as a thing. Tim hates science, everyone. I do not. Power Strike, welcome back. We're driving a Corvette off-road. It's a good time. You heard it here first. Chimkin loves science. Uh, I, I have to I have to ask Tempe about the dogs. I'm sorry. I'm okay to talk about it, but I cry every day about it. I've chosen them really special homes and their new families are so excited. Are you keeping in touch with any of them? Are they people that you know? Nope. No with it. Okay. I think this might be another difficulty change. Either that or this car just slaps. Oh, good times. It's really up to the new owners what level of communication they want to have, but I think there are at least three families who will keep in touch long term. I mean, that's nice, right? Because I've seen... Uh, I did nice. like that. Nice! Kudos are a good way to send positive vibes around the festival. See a driver doing something you like? Kudos to them. So I'd seen since like a number, of, I, I also have first right of refusal written into the contract in case they have ever have to give up their dog for any reason, no matter how time, how the time or distance, I will get them back without judgment if their situation changes. Tempe, that's a really good way to do it. That's a, I really respect you for being able to do that, especially because to a certain degree, you never know what sort of dog you might get back in that case. But that's, that's really cool. Um... I've seen like pictures that dogs, pic 
pictures of dog owners like all of the people that i work with have dogs there are so many dogs in our office on a daily basis that like i get to see i get to see dogs on an almost daily basis anyway and i don't even own one um and they have at various points gone like back to their breeders and they've got photos on their facebook account uh, book accounts and everything of like oh this is this is our dog and the rest of their family um so it's like the dog that I've met and 95 different matching other dogs. And it's just, it's always nice to see. So hopefully those people might one day bring those puppies back to you and you can like, they can see the parents, if that makes sense. My Great Dane Breeder has that in their contract too. It's a really, I like, I, I respect anybody that is capable of doing that in terms of the contract on the, on the contractual basis. Hello? you like i said you never know great work out there we're just about ready for a horizon adventure and we want you on the project speak soon you never know what you're going to get back so it's it's really good okay a male dog beckett who is in the far who is the father doesn't care about his kids and he pretends they don't exist wow i mean some fathers do be like that we're gonna go here. 100 meters, turn right. Deadbeat dog. 400 meters, <laughs> turn right. Her big thing was that she didn't want to see any of the Danes in shelters, and I totally get. I I just it's it's really good. It's a really I'm. Turn right. I have a lot of respect for it. In 400 meters, turn left. If we had infinite pots of money, and I don't think it's ever. Like if I suddenly became really big on Twitch turn overnight, left. and I was earning like thousands of pounds a month. In 200 meters, turn right. I would buy a house. Turn right. That had a dedicated place for meters, animal boarding. Turn left. That could be isolated away from our own animals, turn but left. that the animals would therefore be comfortable. This was Dolly Whiskers' dream. I could do dogs as well, theoretically, in that case, but I just. I. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. I have a lot of controversial opinions about dogs. Are there? Like what? People don't understand how big they get. So many people want Danes that don't know how to care for them, so that's good claws to have. Tiny ponies, right? Like little tiny ponies. arrived at your destination i think it's the size of the the expectation that you'll be able to control a dog of that size as well that i'm a, that must be hard because i'm sure there are some people out there that get a great dane going oh yeah i'll be able to look after them i'll be able to take them for walks and it not be a problem and then they get the art their arms ripped off like my family is always surprised when they see him because they forgot how big he is it's like uh, uh rachel I had a similar experience with myself growing up. Every time I saw people I hadn't seen for a long time. Oh, aren't you tall? I am the Great Dane of people. I didn't up the difficulty. Ads happening in five minutes chat. If I'm in the middle of the race, I will probably play through. No hard feelings. Get an ad blocker. No, don't do that. That's bad, but yeah, 100% do that. Well, this is going really well. 
I'm educating the public on how to recognize and find good dog breeders is a big piece of the puzzle in solving that pet overpopulation problem. If people who buy a dog know to pick from a good breeder that will take their dogs back, if anything bad happens, then no money is being put in the hands of the commercial breeders and the puppies and dogs of commercial breeders who will stop flooding the shelter and rescue systems. Yes, I would just like to go on record and say, fuck people who overbreed animals in shitty conditions. I have been made aware of certain veterinary like sort of sort of area sort of things near us especially through my relationship with dolly who wanted to work with animals once upon a time that you just just fuck them honestly it's not it's not it's not great the system is o the the system is overrun and at the same time no creature on god's green earth should be pregnant a hundred percent of the time fuck it honestly these, these animals should be looked after or they should not be put into that situation for commercial benefit. Totally realistic! Bang. Jim, how tall are you? 6'6". Six, six. I completely went wide of the gate then. Like, not even close to the gate. Your dad is also... Totally realistic! Whee! back your whole foot taller than me but i can get things up high covers for you cara a foot and a half oh god you're short you tiny Your dad's whole side of the family is super tall. My parents were like above average for their generation, but they're not massive. And there's, I'm one of three brothers. We go in reverse order. The oldest is the shortest and the youngest, who is me, is the tallest. I'm five foot on a good day. Does it vary? five foot one with shoes on do you eat like a car eats like a large meal and grows six feet i need to change the difficulty for the next race 100 percent five foot seven shoes definitely a factor oh yeah Kara comes in chat and is like i'm seven foot one takes off shoes i'm four foot ten not sure if you know this but i'm a bit of a rally fan thought i'd take the whole gang along so you coming sure hey amigo kelly called to say we're ready to expand meet me Moleje. it's time for our first adventure Okay, we're gonna do. We're gonna another secret we've been working on. We're gonna do Can't an adventure. Wait. Be there soon, Remy. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Where are we? Where are we going right now? We need to go buy a house. The increasing tallness happened with my siblings and I too. I'm the oldest, but I'm still not short. Five foot eight. I'm also the widest, which is the issue. Meters. Turn right. My brother, who is the shortest, is fairly slight. Like, he's not got a belly on him or anything. My middle brother meters. has got a belly on him. Turn a belly left. on him. And I'm like two people stood on one spot. Turn left. I am a large man. In 100 meters. It's not like Turn a flex. Right. I'm just, I'm, I'm very big. Amigo! Discovering already, are you? That was an XP board. The Horizon team have hidden them all over Mexico. There's plenty more to be discovered if you're feeling adventurous. 
There's an expression in Espanol you may have heard. But this is more than just my house is your house, my friend. This is about home and family. Horizon and Mexico are family. Welcome to your new home. Can we just talk about the fact that that was the opening credits? All of that that we just did was the opening of the game. We now own property. Take a second to look around. We'll leave as soon as you are ready. Did you eat all your vegetables when you were young? I did. Uh, I'm going to talk through the ad break. We're going to do... We're going to go on a little bit longer because I've got some time. Uh, so let's just chat. Let's talk about how big we are. Let's talk about... You know, let's, tell me about your life, chat. I didn't ask this at the beginning of stream because... I just didn't today, so I'm going to say it now. Have you achieved anything today, big or small? And when I say that, I mean, did you get out of bed? Because that's a really big achievement for certain people. Did you shower? Did you take care of yourself? Did you practice proper self-care? Did you eat all your vegetables? Did I eat all my vegetables when I was young, though? I made pizza and didn't burn the roof of my mouth. I had pizza today. It was delicious. What kind of pizza did you have? Let's all live vicariously through you. I had a pepperoni and red pepper pizza. It was delicious. And I was... I'm... No, we'll see if that... Ha I was about to say something else. Well, ignore, ignore all that. I like to eat vegetables, Tempe. But I like certain ones. And the ones that I liked, I ate. The ones that I didn't like, I didn't. Pepperoni... I always had feta cheese, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning, though. That still sounds pretty good. That made some puns. I uh, I mean, I woke up. I mean, that's pretty good. I went into the school today. It's Tuesday. I'm on holiday this week. I'm not working. I was like, why are you at work on a Saturday? It's um, it's not the weekend, is it? Are you, uh, when do you stop? Do you have summer holidays, Rachel? Seedlet, where are these good puns we're talking about? <laughs> I like puns. You answer them you answer the emails. I I would like to I would like to First of all, I had some pretty good therapy sessions and my one patient who was mandated to come says they want to come back voluntarily. That is cool. And honestly, that must be the biggest sort of like Ego boost sounds negative, but that must be that must make you feel so much better in your job as well. I do. I go back Friday officially, but we can work in our rooms right now. That's is that good? Are you happy about that? This is what big performance looks like. Is S tier? I mean, that is good. Shall I? I like tell you what. Tell you what, Seedlit, because we did it once before with something that you said. I'm gonna write that down, and if I do more Forza streams, I that will be my next title. That will be my next title, if that's the thing. Imposter, ther imposter syndrome as a therapist is real. I mean, it, it, it must be difficult because a certain amount of it, the person has to like you and engage. Like, you could be an absolutely A-star therapist or an S-tier therapist, if you prefer. And if you don't, if the person doesn't like you, you can't fix that. And that's such must be such a personal thing. I got my I got mad at my therapist because I wanted to, her to tell me what to do and she wouldn't. They're not meant to though. Therapists aren't meant to do that, right? But I also remembered I confirmed a doctor's appointment on phone, so I basically the best at being social. Evil seedlit. Can we all just pack can we all just can we all just take five seconds? Evil seedlit not only was on a voice call with strangers yesterday. But they also made a telephone call to make a doctor's appointment without having a gun held to their head. So high five for the social introverts in chat right now because that shit is hard at the best of times. I am the boyfriend who doesn't like to make phone calls. Dolly does it for me. Wee. <laughs> yeah, you have to build a rapport pretty quickly and also it took me a long time to come with terms uh, come to terms with the fact I can't help everyone. I imagine a lot of teachers feel that as well. 
Thank you, thank you. I am I am totally on board with the struggling to make phone calls to do anything. I once derailed my an entire therapy session because a goldfinch landed on the tree outside the window and I spent the whole session looking and talking about that bird. That probably told your therapist more about you than you think. Yay for all these accomplishments. This is a lot this is a record number of accomplishments. So I'm gonna press this button and I mean it with I mean it, honestly. This not that I don't mean it usually, but you get the point. I can't afford that. I, I I would really love to get Dolly Whiskers some therapy. It is so expensive in the UK. We are, we're sort of trying to, hopefully in the field, I've got my headphones. I'm not talking to any of you on voice. I've just unplugged my headphones and I was about to tell you that I can't hear of you. Any, I can't hear any of you speaking, chat. It's not like I'm reading you in text. Um, therapy is extremely expensive. If you are in the position that you're capable of getting therapy from a professional that is both suitable for you and is qualified to be dealing with the issue that you want them to be qualified for, like, take advantage of that wholeheartedly. I get that it's going to be difficult to find somebody that is that might fit your issues or like your you might not like them push that comes to shove but if you have that capacity to do that for yourself i i wish i could do that for dolly whiskers but we just we simply can't afford it Oz, the nhs is shit uh real talk i know for a fact i need therapy so bad but i'm scared of it are you what are you scared in i don't want to i'm not like i'm not if you want to say this but you don't want to share too much information are you s considering there are multiple people in chat that have identified there's a therapist in chat be lit i'm not saying kara to give free advice but what exactly are you scared of I didn't mean to do I find it interesting. If I didn't want to talk about it, Kara, I wouldn't be talking about it. I'm not, like, trying to pry into anybody's... Per I'm not, like, trying... I'm not a therapist. Streamers are not therapists. Do not go into people's chats unprompted and start talking about stuff that the streamer can't help you with. But at the end of the day, Seedlet has just said that they're scared of therapy. There is a therapist in chat. Seedlet. What are you scared of in therapy? You don't have to do the research. The research doesn't have to make you feel better because Kara might say, actually, therapy is not like that. This is sort of what I'm trying to... You might have an image of therapy that Kara goes, wait, that's wrong. Uh, I made my therapist cry once. Oops, I'm very lucky I can get therapy. You made your therapist cry? Like... Are you still with that therapist? Not in a negative sense, but like that you might like I'm sure people I'm sure they must get upset in that situation. It feels like it would be taking that phone call from a stranger times one billion, and honestly, I'm scared of being told I'm a massive fucker. I'm not entirely sure they can do that either. They're not like they're guiding lights, right? They're not like there to say, yes, you've got this problem. How fucking dare you? You're such a dick. Yeah, Seedlet, you're such a dick. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Seedlet, you're such you're such a dick. I feel like it though. <laughs> um, I don't think that's how therapists work. Kara can tell me in either direction if that's the case, but I fully respect being scared of it. But if you can one day achieve it and you can one day get over that hump to be able to achieve therapy, I personally think that 95% of the population could do with a little like brain maintenance every once in a while. I am a massive, like massively pro antidepressants and people's certain people having the not having the capacity to deal with certain things uh in that same way the average person there should be no stigma around therapy if you need if, if you are ever in the position to get therapy and it benefits you i'm so proud of you for making that jump to being able to do that yeah i still see her i told her the story about how close family told me i was ugly and would always be alone i was six and they said this and never forgotten um 
that family member is a dick and I hope you don't speak to them on the regular. A large portion of my patients just come to me for someone to talk to. They don't have any kind of support anywhere else. So it helps to have one person who can validate their feelings and offer also offer support. I will say, as a person, oh, I will say, as a person, a Twitch streamer, I think there is a certain amount of... I think there can be a tendency for people to come in chat and not know you and want to, uh, want to talk about stuff that like that streamer is not qualified to talk about so if you are gonna have conversations like this with people on the internet you should feel safe as the person that's bringing up the conversation in the first place but at the same time always make sure that that person that you're sending those messages messages to is a, are consenting to receive that information I didn't see that family member often at christmas just at christmas well if they said that to you when you were six tempe i like from what i know about you you they you deserved better and they're shit ah i'm gonna do like let's find out what an adventure is because i don't remember this Whoa. is it we're ready for the next stage of the Horizon adventure. Ramiro has marked out potential outposts to expand to and new event types to unlock. The choice is yours. Where shall we go first? Okay, well, we... We are going to unlock dirt racing because the Corvette Dirt or Dirt Racing just ah, feels great. Horizon Wilds. If you love dirt racing, this is perfect. Isn't it a rally race or something? We're going to we're going on a jungle expedition in a Corvette. Hecho. Which is Meet just me hilarious here and to we'll me. We'll start our expedition into La Selva. See you soon. Nos vemos. In 100 meters, turn right. Does the Corvette have a name? Clucky. I don't know. I like. I, I. You get like a billion cars in this game. I don't think I have the capacity to name all of them. You have arrived at your destination. I think, to be honest, if I pull at that thread super hard, I will probably go crazy trying to name all of the cars. If you, Rachel, if you would like to name the Corvette. I, I will, if chat would like to name the Corvette, considering how much we've used it, I would love to hear about it. Ari McCarthy. Oh, hola, my friend. We're not even Are in the Corvette. Ready to get going? So, Rami, you said something about a big car. A long story. I tracked it all the way into the jungle, but lost my notes. Uh, why don't I explain it on the way? First, let's retrace my steps. Tangerine. South. GP McGee face. Across the highway and over the hills. Vámonos. I thought big cats would avoid major highways. <laughs> <laughs> Not this one, my friend. Mira, next I turned off road and hit a danger sign on the way into Muleje. Totally realistic. Whee! Welcome to Muleje. My aunt, Tia Rosa, runs a stall in the craft market. She was the one who first told me about the big cat. Now I have your help, I'm sure we'll find it. Keep us creepers, Ethan. Thank you for the first time chat. Hope you're doing well. Jungle. We're getting close. <laughs> Hold up, Rami. You owe me a long story. Perdón, let me explain. I was given coordinates of where this big cat was last sighted. But the plane had mechanical problems on takeoff. I barely got it off the ground. So you dumped your cargo? Exacto. I Thanks. lost everything and I never even saw the cat. But now you're here to help. And it's on the way. This is the place. I left my car at the far end of the runway. All my stuff, including my notes, should be in the flight cases. I would like you to see George. Find them too? Tell you what, let me get this race out of the way and I'll see if I can summon him. The big him. cat is a car, right? I'm guessing Jaguar? Obviously! <laughs> Sorry, did I not mention? <laughs> it's a barn find. Drop me off at my car once you've found it. 
What do we have to do? Ken, you found my notes. Yeah, Rosa said the Jaguar was abandoned. What's happening? Oh, we have to smash boxes to narrow it down. Uh, I would like to see the big cat. ...by its owner 20 years ago. Ooh, ooh. I've marked out the rough location on your map. Show us a real Jaguar. I think I have to smash boxes. Know that. There's a box up there. How do I get up there? Realistic. Aha! <laughs> okay, I need a little bit of a run up, Chuck. I need a little bit more of a run up. Let's try that a little bit more. Proper. My hey. helmet! Gracias, my friend. I've been looking for this one. Alright, has a Jaguar. Really? You need to run up. You got this GP McGee face. I hope chat remembers these names because I'm immediately going to forget them as soon as we turn off the stream. Careful. Ooh, uh, uh. There we go. The flight recorder. It's designed to survive any crash. Uh, maybe not getting run over by a car, but I don't see you getting out to grab it. Are we insinuating that this guy crashed a plane here? Okay, there's one up there. Keeps him in the bathtub. Are you talking about a cat? Like an actual cat? Too fast! She showed me on video chat once. I, whatever you two share as like family members, I, there's, of course, what else were we talking about? Vaginas. Yes. The grocery bill is wild. What's that got to do with vaginas? <laughs> okay. Wait, what? <laughs> Oh no, ignore me. Ignore me as the streamer. If I clip that, Twitch will hate me. No, can we talk about the fact that I, somebody clipped me playing the cucking game the other day and it's the most successful clip that's been done recently? Uh, one of my clips of a game about cucking has been seen by 80 people. That's like 10 times as much as my clips usually get. I'm sure it's all it's because is the title has got cucking in it. God oh, damn it. It's too late now. It's been more than 30. Shall I say it again? This is totally the first time I have made this joke. Why have I suddenly lost the ability to... Fine. Ah, that's the trick. Oh, God. Oh, God. There we go. How come you were carrying a hundred thousand credits? That counts. Oh, my friend. Just some winnings I made on the street scene. Okay, there's one more left. Oh. And then we're going to go see a Jaguar. There it is. How do I get to it? How do I get up there? How do I get up there? It's got to be something to do with that wing. You go and do it manually. I've got to go. I'm done with work and the puppies need me. Tempe, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Hug the dogs for me and I will see you soon. Thank you for popping in. 
that did not that didn't do nearly as much as I thought it would. Do I just drive up there and hit the wall? Yeah, there it is. Okay, well, we find our way in. It's literally just a clip of you saying vaginas. I mean, I've said worse things on the internet, I think. I will title the clip Seedlick, you and I will do a sec you you and I and you and I Seedlick will do a science experiment. I will title that clip Vaginas and we'll see how successful it is. brave enough to do that i think i can change it afterwards if i make it a feature i'll make it a featured clip and it will just be me saying the word vaginas i seem to be stuck can i tell a gross story is it about vaginas Rachel, read the room. We were just talking about vaginas, and now you're asking to tell a gross story. And then 15 seconds of silence. Okay, if you want to tell a gross story, shoot, go. I need to get that one box. It's about eyeballs. Sure, now I'm interested. I'm ready. We've all got them. Oh my... I have two of them. Don't brag. He's on my hey. flight suit! You need you! What were you wearing to fly the plane? My spare flight suit. What did you think? You can keep it if you like. Okay, I need to find a shed. Why wouldn't you just get out of the car? I can't. You can't physically get out of the car. It's not that. It's now, not that sort of game. Big Cat was last sighted in a white barn with a brown door. Have a, a look around here. A white barn with a brown door. He told us that when he was born, he was severely cross-eyed. He had to have surgery for to fix it. They had to remove his eyeballs, fix something with his eye muscles, and then put them back in. That is gross. I'm looking for a shed. Thing is broken planes. Because if he actually makes eye contact with a person, it looks like he's looking at the top of their head. That's interesting. If you were a shed with a car in it, where would you be? His eyes also tire easily, it was wild. Thought I was gonna do something cool and it backfired. There is a building in this small circle that has got a car in it. Can I find it? Of course a bloody car.
Oh, no, I drove out of the map. I had to share it with someone. Thank you for sharing that with us. Aha! I found it. Is it a jag? Look at me with the foot. Look at the suit. The suit. Look at the suit. Finally! It's the XJR-15. Rápido y raro. And a long way from its native habitat in the UK. I wonder how it got here. I'm here for serious car business. Okay. to drop around me at the end of the car. That car's seen some shit. Oh! I don't think that's how planes work. Or gravity. There's my car. Drop me around here when you're ready to leave. Alex wants the biggest dirt racing program Horizon has ever seen. Look at the state of that Jeep. we are going to give it to him. The state of that Jeep. around here when we were teenagers <laughs> I always won <laughs> I hope you've grown out of your rivalry rivalry my friend in Mexico we call that family We're so close now. Keep going. Oh. That one tree was rock solid. I was beating him by a mile and then We're it hit an actual the tree. The jungle now, my friend. It's just us and the wildlife of Las I don't think we're actually These racing. Are treacherous, only reached by the most capable cars. All those that parachute down from cargo So is this planes. like Sony? Yeah, with the multipliers. Uh, yeah, yeah, those two. You get, you get. So the, I haven't really talked about the multipliers. You, but you. There are all sorts of like oh, driving no. mechanics that stopped? can build multipliers. So if back, I drift, friend. it ups my point score. And fans. if I, if I successfully turn the corner without like those... breaking too hard, it ups Howler it. Howler monkeys. We didn't have them back in the UK. Your jungles must be very boring. And here we are. The waterfall turned right around the corner. Cascadas de Agua Azul. What do you think? Is the Mexican jungle good enough for Alex and the best dirt racers in the world? It's perfect. I just hope the dirt racers are good enough for the Mexican jungle. You're always racing all the time. Every day is racing. Racing is life. Yo, I would cry if I were here real life. Shiny, ooh, shiny. We leveled up. I'm not sure I, I would know like- I you were thinking all the way through that jungle. This place would be perfect for dirt racing. Funny, <laughs> I had the same thought.
That car Check has seen out. better days. Horizon Wilds. A little festival of my own where we celebrate all things dirt racing. I've started you off simple with a few events and the drivers and fans have challenges to match. So, nice. off you go and get dirty. Okay, literally a billion off-road races for next time we stream. Me too, to be honest. We've cried together over Disney fireworks. That tracks. Have you? Why were the, why were the fireworks upsetting? I'm going to see. I, I did promise Rachel. I'm going to see if I can summon George. George. Oh, George. I might have to go get him. I'll see if I can go get him from an obvious place. He might. If he's sleeping in one of the boxes, I won't be able to get him. Bear with. outside the door. Is that all wrong? Orange. Everybody wanted to see you, so I had to get you. He sort of panicked a little bit and Dolly had to grab him and it was a whole thing. But you're going to get food now and he's going to enjoy that. So it sort of balances out. And look, there's loads of faces. There's everybody wants to, to see it. And you you clearly want the treat. So, so I'm not going to feel guilty about this. Come over here. Come over here. Sit down. Give me that paw. There it is. Nope. Don't take the paw away. Try to take the paw away. Ow. That was my entire finger. Seventeen treats. No, that was only ten. That was only his tenth treat today on stream. Twenty is the limit. That means he can have ten when we go to bed, because I am wrapping up for the night. But that was George, everybody. Oh, look, he's so handsome. Look at him. He's so handsome. He gets it all from me. He's clearly, genetically, like father, son, you can tell, right? Mean to me now. Imanch. Thank you. Um, But that was it. Honestly, I've had a really nice time. This was a little bit out of left field in terms of the games that I usually play. This is yet another live service game that I can play occasionally on stream. The fact that people have been here and willing to talk through it whilst we've been going is great. Because when I play certain games, there's always that little new streamer lagging part of me in my brain where I'm like, nobody's going to show up. None of my none of my usual members, here, uh, like community members, are interested in this. Nobody's going to care. And then I have those thoughts, and then you always prove me wrong. Like every single time yeah it like it's not always right at the beginning but eventually like chat's going blip 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 and it just it it it's i will say again because off the back of yesterday's stream that dolly did off the back of yesterday's stream that dolly did and all of the people that came out for that because you are all you're all very aware of her health related hiatus and having to take some time off it was really nice to see so many familiar faces in chat um obviously the community that i run uh is me and dolly run the community together the frog and chicken discord is ours it's not hers uh sorry theirs and when it comes to my channel they are so embedded with everything that i do on twitch that like it's really nice that you that people come out for them there were so many familiar faces it was it was really nice so thank you for that it honestly made that it was a big part of their day bangkok 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 um i'm gonna actually have to go but if i if, okay I'll, I'll make another promise 
uh, along with the beard related merchandise. If I ever become a big Twitch streamer, I will go to Bangkok. But it has to be funded by Twitch. Like, if I ever suddenly get hand money hand over fist from Twitch, I'll, I'll go to Bangkok in Minecraft. No, we did Australia in Minecraft. I can't do the going to a foreign country in Minecraft again. We've done the foreign country in Minecraft. It was great the first time we did it, but that ship has sailed. We were like, oh yeah, let's go to Australia in Minecraft. Uh, Seedlet, on Microsoft Flight Simulator, I bottomed out of that game so hard. Um, it was really hard to stream after a while because it is so complicated that I felt like I needed to be putting in hours outside of streams. So I wasn't learning anything between streams. And then I was sort of like, well, I can basically fly from one point to the other, but realistically I could end up flying from like a bit, like I'd do a big flight and crash at the end. And based on my own rules, that would mean I had to start again. It was real. It's real. There are there's a lot of things to learn, and I just I had this really bright idea. If anybody's of it, there, there might be some new people in the channel. Um, if any, like at the beginning of, I think it was towards the end of last year, beginning of this year, I made it like a plan that in 2024, I was going to fly to Australia using microsoft flight simulator and i was gonna do like i was gonna skip it wasn't gonna be like one big like passenger plane flight it was gonna be a two-seater plane and we were gonna like skip along the map as we went along and we were gonna go and see all of these new exciting things as it turns out i'm not very it, it was it was it was a lot harder than i gave it credit for like i i got the basics down the very basic stuff but there was so many technical aspects of it that i needed to I needed to put in like tens of hours of practice and I everybody knows what happened at the end of 2023 so I don't have to give details but there were just there was just so much that I had to learn that I wasn't willing to um so I bottomed out of it I tried to do it really hard for a while and then my brain uh didn't allow me to do it anymore so that series is dead but from a content creator perspective, I think a lot of series end up dead sooner or later. So here we are. We're playing cars and we're doing control on a Monday and a Tuesday usually. And we're having a really good time in Mass Effect. And honestly, where this channel is at the moment, and what I was sort of building to when I was talking about Dolly Whiskers, where this channel is at the moment in terms of growth, in terms of people that are actively in chat, I am so, I am so thankful for you I'm so thankful to have found an audience. I'm so thankful for you to have found us. I'm so thankful for the friendships that I've made through Twitch. I'm so thankful for the support that you showed Dolly yesterday and the support that you show me on a weekly slash regular basis. And I don't think, honestly, I would be the person I am today without Twitch. I'm not a big Twitch streamer. I have no realistic plans to make this a career anytime soon. If I could, I would jump at it like a shot. But realistically, I, d I doubt it's ever going to happen for me. Um, but we're doing real good. Are you a hugger? Depends on the person. Are you gonna Are you gonna hug me if you ever see me in real life, Kara? No, I want you and Sky to hug. That'd be funnier um so yeah based off that little emotional speech i would just like to say to you thank you for joining me for forza i know this was this is yet another live surface game that if it's going to find a place on my streams it will probably be fridays because fridays are my flex days but i probably won't be playing this off stream so we'll hop back into it every once in a while as and when i feel the preference um and yeah It'll be a good time, especially now that I've managed to reset the save game, because the fact that I, what I didn't want to do was hop into the game and be almost done with it, because I feel like tonight's stream wouldn't have been nearly as interesting if I was going back to old content I've already finished. But now, because I reset the game, it's all fresh, and you can see sort of the progress that we're making over time. I hope we're going to fly it right now just to hug Jim. Can you shower first? Did you... <laughs> Wow. I did. Okay, good. Uh, bring... What foods do I like from America? I like the hot cheddar ruffles. 
and basically every flavor of Skittle that you have available. Um, but yeah, it's really good to know you all. Um, me and Dolly are like, we, we brought you guys together. Our content brings you together. Hanging out with us sort of like perpetuates certain things. But at the end of the day, the community met, the community is made up of you guys. And if you weren't as nice as you are, the community would not be the same. So take a bow. This is me saluting you. Um, I'm glad you exist, Jack. Uh, I'm also super proud of you. Existence is freaking tough sometimes. If all you can do of a given day is get out of bed, I'm super proud of you for being able to do that. I, as a person that suffers from depression, respect that certain days there are. So sometimes you have no bones days. Um, and if that has happened to you today and you've not managed to get out of bed, I see you. I respect you for having to do that to benefit yourself in some way. There's always tomorrow. And at the end of the day, um, as long as you are not negatively affected, as long as your existence is not a concern, um, just continue to do your best. It's the best that you could possibly do. Life is so hard, to be honest. Um, I would just like, along these lines, I'm super proud of you for just existing. And so along these lines, I'm now, the proud thing is sort of morphed into a few little rules. Not rules, because I say not rules every single time. It's just like a feeling that I want to put out when I tell you I'm proud of you, because there are people out there that don't have somebody to say that they're proud of them. Um, you don't have to watch my content. You don't have to be in chat. You don't need to lurk in chat. What I want you to do is continue to exist. I'm super proud of that for you for that continued existence. And if my content, to some degree, makes that existence that touch better, that is what I want. I don't need you to be here all the time. Uh, if it is like a problem for you, I don't, I don't, I don't need that. So take care of yourself as best as you can. Uh, self care is important. Tip your waitress. Don't try the veal because I'm still not morally okay with veal. Like, have a nice sandwich. Eat a sandwich. Um, I like being here. You're a mod. I hope you like being here. <laughs> Can we just take a bow for Evil Seedlet? I would just like to say, and that I didn't plan this. They didn't know I was about to do this. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to say this real quick. I love all of my mods. Evil Seedlet is the newest mod. Um, let me just click back in the game because I was enjoying the passive wind noise. Um, I love all my mods. Evil Seedlet is my newest mod. Uh, I will hold my hands up and say, of the mods that I've had up until Evil Seedlet, uh, their roles has been, have been massively flexible. And today is an example. I've asked Evil Seedlet to do shout outs for me. I have never done that with Dolly or Sky or Ziggy previously. I will on occasion, but nine times out of ten, I would do it myself. But I've sort of naturally slipped into this weird, like, I'm asking Evil Seedlet to do things. They're not batting an eyelid. In fact, they're doing it really well. So, Evil Seedlet, take a bow. You are so welcome on the team. And that isn't to say that I don't respect my other mods equally. But at the same time, you are the most, you are the, you are the moddiest mod. <laughs> Seedlet is the moddiest mod. Like, Z I've always referred to Ziggy as the top, top 10 mod because they manage a lot of the Discord and stuff. Like, that, that, that's their role. But Evil Seedlet now takes the role of the moddiest mod. I don't know what, like, Dolly is my wife, so that's sort of a given. Sky Alakar is extremely knowledgeable. Sky, Al Sky Alakar is like my tech help. Sky Alakar would be there if I struggle from a technical perspective. Not that they're not there from the other side either, but uh, Sky is like the technical expertise to a certain degree. Evil Seedlet is na now takes the role of the moddiest mod. It's also a competition. One day I'll make you all fight to the death. No, I won't. That's, that's crossing the line. And I'm not a mod, but I'm here. Kara is the Karius Kara. <laughs> you are literally the only Kara I know. Kara, you are the number one Kara in my life. Ignore that other thing that I just said. Um, 
fucks giving. If there is something you give a fuck about, type it in chat and it's not allowed to be me. You're not allowed to say me or the community because we've just covered all that. If you give about something, give a fuck about something, say it. I give a fuck about mental health awareness. It is very important to be able to talk about certain things in safe spaces. I respect that as a thing that you give a fuck about. I give a fuck about... Yeah. Oh. See? I covered it. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I give a fuck about Josh a lot. Can we all just say... I? Can we all just agree that we also give a fuck about Evil Seelit's husband? In a, in a completely platonic way. Um... Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Can I say my cats again? Cats is work. Cats is relevant. Work-life balance? Fuck yes. Holy shit. Do not take your job home with you. I am so... I am so happy for the skills that my job has given me that I can come online and I can sort of ply my trade via Twitch to a certain degree. And it works to my benefit. Um, but holy shit. Do not bring your work... Like your actual work home with you. Or like try not to at the best, best as possible. I give a fuck about Josh talking to the Pentagon. You're not allowed to say that, Sir Shadow. Uh, see, that did Josh beat the Pentagon? Is he head of the Pentagon? Now? We said we're not allowed to speak about that, Shadow. It was taught official secrets act. Somebody's going to come to your house. I decided on stream layout I want to do. DM it to me afterwards. We also take this opportunity to say my partner and I, Dolly Whiskers, lost somebody very important to us at the end of 2023. The writing is on the wall with this. We are halfway through the year, but for the rest of 2024, we will continue to say at the end of my streams, fuck cancer. It is a ritual that we do. It is a vibe check for the world, the universe, because realistically, the average person should not have to worry about cancer. Sadly, we do in this horrible political world that we live in. But at the end of the day, maybe this like good feeling that we're putting out into the world in some way will change that. I don't know. I'm not sure I believe in that entirely, but we continue to do this. And honestly, it makes me feel better and it helps me remember them in a positive way. And thank you for helping me do weird shit on the internet. And thank you for the bits, Evil Seedler. I see you with the bits and the gigantic shit and the, like... I don't know why I'm saying it like that, because every time I go into somebody else's chat, I'm using Gigantify emote to show off my ass emote. So it's one of those... It's a thing. Who are we going to raid? Um... We're going to raid Boxy Blue. They are playing the Elden Ring DLC. I have lurked in their chat multiple times. They are a good person. They were a PNG tuber last time I saw them. But, you know, sometimes people have webcams because some people want to be PNG tubers and real people streamers. Uh, if you are subscribed, drop a raid emote. If you are not subscribed, take a raid message. I will be back. I will be back like that. That's exactly what I do to other people's chats. Um, I will be back sometime this week. Officially Friday, but I've skipped both control streams this week. So I'm probably going to go live with control before Friday. I'm just not sure when. I am on holiday all week. My plan was to do extra streams, and I'm sad that we've not continued control. So at some point this week... I'll be live with Control. You may be at work, but at the same time, I'm on holiday. You can always watch the VOD if you miss it. But at the same time, my late long streams always push on into the night. Um, yeah, and if it's not Control, it might be something else. I don't, I don't know, honestly. So I'll be back. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger, you Schwarz Schwarzenegger used to say. We're raiding right Boxy Blue. Go show them some love. Go be kind. Enjoy the rest of your week. I say the rest of my week, like I'm I haven't just said I'm gonna be back. Yeah, just go do go go go. Go. Get out of here. Farewell. I'll see you soon.